The last vector that we're going to look at at our important vector series, number four, is force. Force you'll be using all the time in your physics class, and it's something I'm sure you're all familiar with. It's basically just a push or pull. So if we had a little cart here, and we applied a force in this direction, it would accelerate the cart forward. Okay? The unit of force is the kilogram times meters per second squared. Let me explain that in a little more detail in a second here. Um, a lot of books will just call that the Newton. The Newton is really a kilogram meter per second squared. Where does that come from? Well, that comes from the most important equation in all of physics, arguably, F equals M A, which states that a force is equal to the acceleration, that the force on an object is equal to the acceleration of the object times its mass, okay? So, in order to, in other words, if I want to accelerate something, like if I want to push a car forward that's, that's at rest, meaning change its velocity from zero to something non-zero, in other words, accelerate it, I have to apply a force that is the product of however massive the car is times how quickly I want to accelerate it, or how much acceleration I want to give it. Okay, um, again, remember force is, or all vectors are a direction and a length. So in the case of force, I wanna show you how it relates to all the other vectors we've been talking about, and it relates via F equals MA here, uh, one of the equations you must know. Now, as you may recall, how did we write A in terms of the velocity? A is delta V, delta T. Um, and so I want you to see here how all the, these, these, quanti these vector quantities we went, went over are related. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. Acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. Finally, recall that velocity is defined as the change in displacement over the change in time. So you can see how all these quantities are related. The displacement is related to the velocity via these equations. The velocity is related to the acceleration via these two equations. And finally, the force is related to the acceleration by multiplying it by mass.